All right, I'm gonna zoom in on that one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chris and Nicole. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can become part of the family. And if you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so happy to have you. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, I am in Chanel's kitchen. I'm taking over today, sort of. Yes, taking over. No, 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 yes. sort of. Let me make it very clear. <laughs> Chanel is going to be teaching me how to make a pescatarian friendly meal. And I'm super, super excited. Okay guys, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you wash your hands. Cleanliness is next to godliness and this food is about to taste heavenly, okay? <laughs> Now we are just getting all of our items ready to be prepped and cooked. Pasta! <laughs> We're going to go ahead and turn our stove to medium high heat and get our water ready for the pasta by adding some olive oil. Make sure that you have enough so that your pasta does not stick together. And then we're going to also add some sea salt and that's just going to help to give the pasta some flavor. Okay guys, so we are about to season the salmon. We have some garlic, some Old Bay, some citrus pepper, some garlic, herb and red crushed peppers all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and start with the citrus pepper but you can really go ahead and do this in any order that you like what you want to make sure of though is that you are coating it evenly and that you're putting a good amount of seasoning because we want to make sure that it is flavorful and although we are going to take that back off of the salmon we still want to go ahead and season that to help it to have that crisp now we're adding some of the garlic herb and you want to also make sure that you rub it in because you don't want the seasoning to just sit on the salmon you want it to become infused okay do y'all like that terminology <laughs> let's go ahead and add some red crushed peppers and now we're going to add the garlic and like i said make sure that you are rubbing it in there so that you can really get that flavor don't forget about your pasta make sure that you are stirring it occasionally so that it doesn't stick together now we are adding some olive oil to our pan and we're going to make sure that it's hot before placing our salmon look at that juicy goodness mmm so good now we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. And uh, praise break. <laughs> now we're cutting up some tomatoes and we're just gonna half those and those are going to go into our sauce once we get there. We are flipping our salmon. If you find yourself having a hard time doing this, just let it sit a little bit longer, let it do its thing and then try again because you don't want it to break. Now we're placing it in the oven for about three to five minutes on 400 degree heat. And uh, what is dinner without wine? You all know we love our wine. So we're pairing this meal with a nice Riesling. And we're gonna go ahead and get our sauce started by adding some mushrooms to oil, butter, rosemary, and a seasoned pan. Now we're adding in the rest of our veggies. So we're adding in all of our onions, half of our chopped parsley, and all of our tomatoes. And what we want to do is let this sweat a little bit. So we're just gonna stir that in, mix everything in really well before adding in our heavy cream. And I believe that this is a pint, but nevertheless, we are going to use this entire carton. So I'm just pouring all of that in there and I'm gonna stir it all in really well before adding in our cheese. Now our cheese is just adding that extra flavor, that cheesy goodness, and we're gonna use a lot of it, but we're gonna save some so that we can use it as garnish at the end. So here I am just stirring everything up, but I have to give you a close up because this is good. So our noodles are finished and we're gonna go ahead and strain those, shake it up just a bit. 
and we're going to add some spinach to the bottom of this pot. The stove is not on, so our spinach is going to cook from the heat of the noodles. And we're also going back to our sauce and adding some wine, stirring that up, making sure that it's nicely infused in there before adding that sauce to the pot, which will also help to cook down that spinach. Look at that, y'all. It looks so amazing. Make sure you get all of that in there, okay? So we're gonna stir that in together really nicely and make sure that everything is evenly coated and then taste. <laughs> now we're going to plate it and ooh, bone apple tea enjoy doesn't that look so good i know i know i did that